did all that. It's, this Now this is an old Neve 8068 from the 70s. Mm. And I wanted a console like this. Yeah. Uh, cause I knew, cause I had used one, one of these back at Media Sound and Power Station where I used to work in New York in the 70s. And I thought, well, this would be a great old thing to have. It's a classic console. The preamps, there's some of the best sounding preamps on the planet. Yeah. And um, so I Googled it and this particular one came up, which was actually the one from Studio A at Power Station. Yeah. That I made a bunch of records. The River for Springsteen was recorded on that. Um, I mixed the Hungry Heart on this. I mixed uh, the single for um, the Stones, uh, Miss You, on that. Uh, there's a bunch of Roxy Music records. Brian Adams, his first couple of records we did on that. And, uh, you know, and plus a whole bunch of other people besides sure. things that I did. Bo David Bowie, I could go on and on, you know, it just really has a, an incredible legacy. And, but the thing was that, that Betty knew I wanted, my wife Betty want, knew I wanted one of these as well. She knew yeah. exactly what it was. And um, so she had her guy, Lucas Vandermee, her, the, one of the main engineers here, looking as well, because he was into finding stuff on eBay or whatever. He found the same exact console, and so it was just him and me <laughs> bidding against each other, and we probably bid up the price a little bit. That is so crazy. And, uh, but we ended up getting it. We had we ended up putting about twenty five thousand dollars into uh, upgrading it. Wow! Because um, if anybody knows anything about the the eighty sixty eight, the monitor is on the, it's, it was the first inline console Neve ever made. Yeah. And so the monitor is on these little pots and the mics were permanently on the faders. Yeah. And of course, if you're doing like a radio show or something, you want to record to, the, to a multi-track and you want to be able to do a, like a mix. Yeah. And uh, mixing on these things is a pain. Of course, yeah. And so we did a fader flip, which is a really intense modification on this console. Plus we did a lot of other things. So now I can I can mix here, set the, the mic levels, yeah. and the recording doesn't, you know, doesn't get touched. And I can do any as far as mixing. And that works great for doing the radio shows for um, the local radio station KCRW, which we've done about a hundred now. Wow. 